Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, got my little 16 year old right here, right? She's rocking out pretty good for a 16 year old pup. Uh, just want to share a couple of praises this morning. And then I want to, uh, I want to challenge you and encourage you to step out and ask Holy Spirit who it is, where it is, and to give you a sign, okay? So a group of men that we meet together on Thursday nights, uh, one of them was having surgery. So instead of just sitting around and discussing the book that we're going through, Doing Greater Things by Robbie Dawkins, Holy Spirit put it on my heart for us to, to have a field trip. And if we're, if we're studying and we're praying into and we're having greater faith to see God's hand move upon other lives in our city and change, it's time to step out and take a risk. It's time to step out and build our faith. So it's what we did. So we, we met up at the Johnson City Farmer's Market, which was day 111 of men and women continuously gathering to pray over our city, our government, our nation, and our world, and the body of Christ. 111 days, it's pretty awesome, right? Uh, it's a pretty special number to me. Well, after the end of praying, you know, there's rain had been pouring down in our city. And when everybody had gathered, because at that moment we were going to decide where we were going to go in our city to just share the gospel Pray for healing, expect signs and wonders to Father, and just love on people. And we come out from the pavilion, and there is just a massive rainbow that is filling the sky. And, you know, from where we were standing, we could see both ends of it. To the right of us, it was landing perfectly on top of First United Methodist Church. But on the other side, uh... It was directly in front of the John Severe Center. Originally, the John Severe Center was one of the fanciest hotels in Johnson City. For many people in our region now, uh, it's a sign of destitution. Uh, a lot of homeless gather there, a lot of broken, a lot of addiction, a lot of hopelessness. And it's a low-income complex that the city has purchased... Or somebody has purchased and within like the next year and a half, two years, they're trying to phase that out and turn it into commercial property again. So we really don't know where, you know, the hundreds of people that live in that building are going to go. But I just felt Holy Spirit say, there it is. You asked for a sign. Here's a rainbow. Here's a sign of hope. And, and to me, I walk with the fact that that rainbow is a sign that that's not going to be death. So as we proceed to take a walk around the city, we first we run into a lady named Rose that was in the back side of that building. So as we gather there to just love on her and pray for her, the security come out and told us that we couldn't gather there. Fair enough, he's doing his job. So we make our way back around to the front side of the building. And there's a, there's a congregation of folks huddled up out there in the rain. The Holy Spirit had to stop there. And we made a, two people. We'll call them Jack and Jennifer. Jack has leukemia and heart disease. And he said with, without chances of a... There wasn't a good outcome looking for him. So I just encouraged him. I said, you know what? I trust and believe in a Jesus that wants to heal you today. And it was beautiful watching my brother Daniel Fleener share testimony of healing in his life. First he testified. He, he testified of having collapsed lung in his life. And that Yahweh healed him. So he testified of healing in his life. And it built up the faith in this man and woman. And after Daniel... And John and I laid hands on this man and just commanded healing into his life and just thanked Jesus for just resting the kingdom upon him. Uh, you could just see that the woman that was sitting down, she was broken. And when we asked her if she had prayer, her prayer request was for this man. And after her,
prayer was answered, then we just we put our focus and our attention and our love back on her. And just witnessing how uh, a friend of mine, Charlie, delivered the gospel in a way that most people don't. It just, it just, it opens me up. And just, even in that moment, I encountered a presence of Holy Spirit. I felt a weight of the Lord just rest upon me that just broke me down to that dirty sidewalk. But love was shared that day. Compassion was shared that day. In the rain, family joined together, loving, holding hands, embracing people. And just knowing in that moment that that Yahweh encountered this woman, she encountered him. And I have faith knowing that her life was forever changed. So I want to encourage you today, take a risk. Like really, take a big risk, right? You've got the spirit of the living God living inside of you. You have Holy Spirit that goes before you and strengthens you. What's the best that can happen? We have this mindset in our culture where folks could say, well, what's the worst that could happen? I think that mindset has to go, folks. And when you're walking in the kingdom, you're walking with Holy Spirit, what's the best that could happen? It's not crazy things. It's godly things. We might need to remove that line from our vernacular too, right? Something amazing happens in our life and we say, that's crazy. No, it's godly because God did that. So I pray today that you ask Holy Spirit, who is it? Where is it? When is it? What is my sign? I love you guys. I'm really excited to hear about who you pray for today, who you love on today, who you buy a meal for, a cup of coffee. Is there somebody that you're always asking you to buy their groceries today, fill up their tank of gas? Take a risk. You only got $5 left in your pocket? Take a risk. You see somebody that you see every day and they're usually angry? Take a risk. And know that God has given you every spiritual blessing in Christ in heaven to make sure that it's accomplished. Take a risk today, guys. Go for it. Be big. Be bold. If you're more than conquerors, what does that look like? Be that today. If you're no longer a slave, what does that look like? Go big today. If you're no longer resting at the foot of the cross, but you get to share a testimony of where God took you past the cross... Go big today. Have an awesome day, guys. Blessings.